here's a model I might want to show off in wireframe on my demo reel. In this case, I do not want any of the other stuff. I only want to see the polygons, basically. I do not want a grid in my view, and I want to see the wireframe. And what I'm going to do is actually just hardware render the wireframe view, because that's a, by, by, by far the easiest way to do it. We need to turn on that we actually see our wireframe on top of everything, but it's an ugly color. It's like the color, the pink color I chose here, because this is a blob. I thought pink would be a nice color. So let's change that. Let's go into our attribute editor for our shape and allow, uh, enable drawing overrides and set the color to white. It's somewhere in here there's a white. Of course, it's not the first or the last, it's somewhere in the middle. This looks like white. There we go. It's still green because it's selected. If we now deselect it, it's now, it has now a white wireframe. It also has all kind of shading on it. We don't want shading on it, so we go to rendering and just hit assign it a surface shader, which is completely black. Now there are also teeth in here, which actually need the exact same. So I'm going to assign the existing material surface shaders to that. Come on. Boink. And to this one. And I want to do the same thing. Go to my drawing overrides. It's already on there. Make it white. And this one needs to be, so this one needs to be white, this one needs to be white. So it's all white with black. And I can subdivide it, and it doesn't subdivide the polygons. You still get the same amount of polygons. Now, what else do I need? It's kind of ugly on a gray background. How do I change the background? Hitting Alt B will just flip through all the possible backgrounds. So you've got the gray, you've got the light gray, the gradient, and black. So now you've got your wireframe. You just need to animate it and render it at the exact, exact right size. There's one more thing you can do because it, it, it looks a bit aliased. It looks a bit choppy. We can actually, in our preferences for our viewport, viewpoint 2.0, turn on anti-aliasing, smooth wireframe, and even multi-sampling anti-aliasing. And you'll see that it looks much smoother. How to render this at exactly 720 by 1280, that's all on the instruction site under how to render preview, so I'm not going to repeat that here. But this is how you can make a wireframe, and if you have it black and white, you can just multiply it on top of your model and have it on top of your model any way you want.